family, welcome back to I Love Me Me. So, you had your heart broken before, I mean like many of us have. And here are several reasons why you should be happy that it has occurred. We'll talk about it right after this. Fam, thanks so much for coming back. So I have eight reasons why you should be so happy that that heartbreak occurred. The first reason is because the worst of it is already over. All of those times that you were thinking about ending it and now it actually has happened. You don't have to worry about all of the stress and the worries that came along with the breakup occurring or not occurring fast enough, really. And a lot of it had to do with you being insecure and the whole I have to start over thing. So you're holding on to this basically dead end relationship. And so the worst of it is already over because you actually went through with it. Whether you did the breaking up or whether you got broken up with, it does not matter. It's over. Both ways, it's over already. The second reason why you should be happy that it's over is because all of the things that your ex hated doing that you really wanted to do or that you slowed down doing, you can now pick them right back up. You can jump back into all of the things that made you happy. Yes, you can. Yes. It's good. It's good if you do that. The third reason why you should be happy is now that you can actually reflect on what happened and how much you've actually grown from being in that relationship. Because when you're in it, you don't realize the growth. You see the growth afterwards or after you've been through something, then you realize the growth that had occurred. You don't realize it when you're in it. So reflect and then applaud yourself about your growth. The fourth thing to be thankful for is that breakups actually show you what you need to work on. As long as you can identify it, you can now work on that thing. So when the next relationship comes, that thing is no longer an issue and it, it lessens the chances that another breakup will occur. It will also help you to start on that path of self growth because once you identify one thing and you want to get better at it it's it's basically like a domino effect now you want to tackle the next thing that you can get better at and then you want to tackle the next thing that you can get better at and then guess what you are inadvertently building up your confidence you're building up your self-esteem and you're also really really solidifying the fact that your next relationship will actually be so much better than this last one the fifth thing to be proud about is that now you can actually know that you can function under stressful situations. You, you were the person who went to work and nobody knew that you was going through a breakup. None of your family members knew that you was going through a breakup. But guess what? You was able to hold your life together, get the things that needed to be done, done, and then come back home. And if you needed to relax, relate, cry a bit, be in your feelings a bit, you were able to do that. But you were able to function in this stressful situation, especially now that it's over with, you're not woe was me at work either. You're like, you know what? It didn't work out. Yes, it does suck. You're angry. You're pissed off. You're going through all of those emotions, but you're not taking it out on anybody else. You are taking on all of your stuff by yourself or maybe even with a close friend. But as far as like your coworkers and, and people outside of your inner circle, they don't know what's going on. And that's fine. That's great, actually, because everybody don't want to see you win. And some people are on the outside waiting for you to go through a breakup and waiting for you to be broken down and miserable. The sixth thing that you can consider is now that you can do an actual upgrade on not only your future partner, but also your lifestyle. And the person will now fit your lifestyle better. As I already mentioned, some of the things that you did not, uh, that your ex did not want to do, now you're starting to do them. So maybe because you're putting yourself out there and you're getting back to doing the things that you'd like to do, just maybe you happen to run into somebody who likes to do those exact same things. So now you have a better fit 
for your new relationship and now you have inadvertently did an upgrade on your partner as well. Number seven is that now you can get back to doing all of those things that you did for yourself, all of the nice, pleasant things. I hear so many women say that they buy themselves flowers. It's not because they're trying to like show off or anything. It's because they like flowers. And so at this particular point in their life, they're not dating anybody, but they still want the flowers. So once a week, they go out and buy the flowers for themselves. This is a very nice thing to do for themselves. They like the smell. They like the whole thing about them being fresh and new. It brings them happiness. It brings them joy. Just the little things. You can get back to doing all of those things for yourself now. The eighth thing to consider is that you have to trust that God has a better plan for you. Because a lot of times we do the picking instead of letting God do the picking for us us. And even if you got into that relationship and it actually made it to marriage, maybe you were going to end up a statistic, a divorcee, and it doesn't have to be that way. If you slow down and let God do the choosing for you, this is going to absolutely help you when you start working on yourself. Absolutely. You'll be able to settle down, maybe do a little bit of meditation and really start to try to hear the voice of God and where he's leading you and where he's taking you and especially the partner that he's going to choose for you. All right, fam, I'm going to end this video with a quote. I found it the other day and I just thought that oh, it fit perfectly here in this video. So be thankful for every heartbreak for they were planned. They come into your life just to reveal another layer of yourself to you and then leave. Their purpose is to shake you up, tear apart your ego a little bit, show you your obstacles and addictions, break your heart open so new light can get in, make you so desperate and out of control that you have to transform your life. And you do. Unknown author. I'll see you in another video. Deuces.